your boy the Jackie Dumson, check it out because it's like hip hop fans got amnesia, okay? It's like short term memory loss or something like that because it just doesn't seem that we remember what happens time and time again. We don't pay attention to obvious patterns. Now, it's kind of like catching your girlfriend each and every week after Friday night football in high school, sucking a star quarterback off behind the bleachers, and she tells you, oh my bad. And you still take her back each and every week, okay? Now, Today we found out Grammy nominations. A lot of people are excited. Oh, Cole, who, uh, Future got snubbed. Uh, 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 Omarion got snubbed. Uh, 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 Wale's not nominated. And now people are saying, oh, damn, Drake back to back got nominated. Okay, that's cool. Great. Good. Okay. But like Drake said, I should get my Grammys on my Instagram. Yo, are you guys forgetting what the Grammys really are? I get it. And I'm going to tell you two different perspectives about the Grammy. For the artist, this is why an artist cares, right? An artist, like someone like Wale, he sees it as an opportunity to be kind of accepted in an inner circle. That's very rare, okay? Listen, it's kind of like being at the ball, but you're never really in the circle of people getting it really popping until you get a Grammy. I get that. But for us fans, when we think about uh, award shows with integrity, uh, with uh, actual touch or having the pulse of what's going on in the culture, the Grammys have always got it wrong. Always. They gave Iggy Azalea a nomination. We all know they've been fucking up for a minute. Okay? They've gotten it wrong time and time again. And no doubt this year they'll get it wrong too. But for some reason, we still tear and we still, oh my God, such a big deal. Drake back to back, he's nominated. Meek Mill lost. Now, all these companies, you know what I mean? Listen, the fact that back to back is popular is because all these companies have made money off back to back because they use parts of the lyrics or they use the song or the attention it got to promote their own products. So that's the reason why everybody knows about back to back. Not because they love the line talking about, is, a, is it a world tour or your girl tour? Okay? So. I see everybody trying to give Meek Mill L's, and of course, yo, Meek Mill lost. We know this, but we don't need the Grammys to remind us about it. We don't need these corporate entities to remind us about it. And it's just a, a surprise I see so many people reacting. They're on Meek Mill's Instagram. They're dropping trophies. They're, they're doing the stand shit, which is kind of annoying now. Okay, at first, we had a great, great old laugh, and I'm still laughing at it. But sometimes we go a little bit too hard because I'm looking, I'm like, really? A Grammy? Now, you got to keep in mind, after they fuck up and not make the person win that we think should win, we're going to go slander the Grammys. So why do we care? If we built up, and of course we don't own these award shows, because believe me, niggas don't own BET, okay? It's owned by Viacom at this point. But if we actually gave more credit to the BET Hip Hop Awards, and yes, they run it atrociously, we know this, right? Uh, the BET Hip Hop Awards and the BET Awards, they definitely make better picks when it comes to award shows, or at least giving out awards, Right? But we don't care about those. We care about the Grammys. The Grammys is for, like, 70-year-old old senile fucks, okay, who basically don't keep up with anything that's contemporary. And unless you make a big enough splash that they could see a ripple because they got one toe into the pond, they'll never, ever hear about you. That's the reason why the only two, the only couple of songs that got nominated that you could kind of say is out of place, or not even out of place, but you'd be like, yo, damn, They ain't nominate Future, but they nominate this like they nominate Trap Queen. Trap Queen has been played on every late night show. They're doing parodies about it. They nominate Back to Back. I told you, Back to Back has been promoting a lot of things, right? And and they nominate uh, Energy. So I'm not really putting too much stock into the Grammys. I'm expecting bullshit, okay? To be honest, you know what's hot. I know what's hot. We know what's better than what. If we look at the Grammys, and all I'm saying is that they've consistently got it wrong, so I have no doubt that they'll do it again. I wasn't surprised when uh, Future didn't get nominated, and I'm not saying he should, but I was not surprised. I know their M.O., and when they've shown me their colors from from every single year, I believe them now. I'm not going to, I'm really not going to be like, oh my God, I'm shocked. So what do you guys think, okay? Drake, back-to-back, got nominated. People are saying Meek Mill caught a loss. But is the Grammys really that thing to really be basing that on? It's the Grammys. They nominate Iggy Azalea. It's your boy, Jackie Demick. Spin, I'm out.